Hello, and welcome to this video presentation of your first Pluto project. This will introduce you to how to work with the ABB Safety PLC Pluto unit. The following video will introduce how the tool Pluto Manager works and how to perform an I.O. configuration of inputs and outputs. This is part 3 in a series of videos. Click on the Pluto D45 Units I.O. options in the tree to the left. A number of inputs and outputs will be listed that can be configured to the application's needs. These inputs are called I, A, inputs, or I, inputs. The first four inputs can be configured to be a static input that accepts standard 24 volt DC, or a dynamic input that works with a dynamic signal. This is a 24 volt DC square wave with 25% duty cycle in three different shapes. They can also be configured to work as analog inputs 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 volt DC. Furthermore, they can be configured to work as speed counter inputs. The following four inputs can be configured in the same way, except as speed counter inputs. That was the first eight inputs. The following inputs, I32, I47, can be configured as static or dynamic inputs. Configure I30 to be a static input. The two channel emergency stops channel 1 will be connected to this input. Configure I31 to accept a dynamic signal of the A pulse type. Check the box to accept a non-inverted signal, since the square wave dynamic signal will pass straight through the emergency stop's normally closed contact. The A-pulse dynamic signal needs to be sourced from this Pluto unit. More about that soon. Now follows the so-called IQ inputs slash non-safe outputs. Please keep in mind that the output part of these terminals are non-safe. This must be considered when using them. The IQs can be configured in many different ways. Please consult the hardware manual for an in-depth description. As an input. As an output. As an input and output at the same time. As a light button. Perfect for a reset button with light indication. As an analog input with a 0 to 27 volt DC range. Or as a status bus input used together with a dynamic circuit. Configure IQ13 to be an output that generates an A pulse dynamic signal as a source. Add the input that will be used for the proximity sensor Eden. This will be IQ14. Configure it to accept an A-pulse dynamic signal but, don't check the box, since the Eden inverts the signal. This is used to detect short circuits bypassing it. The light button reset button also needs to be configured. Click on Pluto Unit 1, and go to its I.O. options, in the tree to the left. As can be seen there are fewer outputs, but the procedure is the same. Configure IQ10 to source the dynamic signal from this unit as an A-pulse as well. Please note that this is a different A-pulse dynamic signal. Each Pluto unit can only source itself. Configure IQ11 as a light button. Let's take a brief look at the variables. Here a number of tabs can be seen. Grayed out means unconfigured and white means the I.O. has been configured under I.O. options. Please note the tab names, they clearly indicate each I.O.'s intended use. Safety Inputs Safety Outputs Non-Safety Outputs Please note non-safe Global memories, Boolean bits that can be used to exchange bits over the bus between Pluto units safely. Memories, 
Memories are local Boolean bits that can be used in the Pluto unit's logic only. Registers. Registers are 16-bit integer registers. Double registers. Double registers are 32-bit registers that are created by combining two 16-bit registers. System memories. System memories contain useful Boolean bits that can be used when programming. System registers. System registers contain useful 16-bit registers that can be used in a similar way. As an example SR11 contains the current system error. 0 means no error. 20 means empty Pluto unit, no PLC code. The bold G, in brackets, marks which of the IOs are global. Variables that always are transmitted on the bus between units. The bold E, in brackets, marks which local variable that has been exported, if any. Please note that exporting a variable creates extra bus load. The exported variables behaves in a similar way compared to a global variable, but with a few differences. Please consult the manual for an in-depth description. In this part of the series it was shown how to I.O. configure inputs and outputs in the Pluto units. Keep in mind what is safe and what is non-safe. The next part. In this video series, we'll show how to work with variable names.